Hello, this is Dr. Mahmoud Alodeh. Uh, in the analyze phase of uh, Lean Six Sigma, we're going to analyze some technical details uh, in order to do the improvement for a process. One of the tools that we talked about it is the QFD or the quality function, the uh, function deployment. The quality function deployment, it's a tool that we use it to hear the voice of the customer. It is really important for you as a business to hear the voice of the customer. But the more important is how would you translate the voice of the customer into an actual, into something to be happened. So the QFD or the house of quality, it's a tool that we use it to understand exactly what the customers, what the customers mean by high quality product. It will help you to focus on the process of developing a new product. So whenever you have a new product going to the market, you need to hear from the customer uh, their voice. You need to hear from them what they mean by the high quality product. It is important when you develop a, QL, a QFD uh, or a house of quality, you have to have a cross-functional team because you wanna hear not only the voice of the outside customer, but also the internal customer as well. You need to develop a team from the marketing, manufacturing, engineering, operations, sales, etc. So you need to hear the opinion of every person on your company and they have to work on that cross-functional team. And what we do, we need to uh, translate the customer needs into uh, techni technical specifications. It is called house of quality because it looks like a, uh, like a house. As you see here in this chart, you will see an attic here. That's the roof of the house and you will see different rooms. Why it's important, why we need a cross-functional team because we need all to be on the same page. As you see, a uh, cross-functional team will let everybody like the sales, the marketing, the engineering, the manufacturing, the field, field services to know exactly what the customer want and be on the same page. Let's go ahead and talk about the QFT and how we could develop a quality function. Deployment. As I mentioned, the house of quality consists of, two, of rooms. The first important rule is the customer, what the customer wants. And also number two or number three, I'm gonna skip to three and then we'll go back to two, the technical requirements, how we could achieve the customer needs. We need to study the relationship between the technical requirements and the customer needs, how important to each other. Also, we need to study the correlation between the technical requirement themselves. And the number six is the most important thing. This is the design. When we offer the new product, uh, which uh, technical requirement we should focus on. Uh, let's take an example here. We have uh, an example for a QFD for a camera. And here we talk to the customer. We say, okay, what do you need with your new camera? The customer said, I need the camera to be lightweight. I need it to be easy to use. I need that camera to be reliable. I need camera to easy to be easy to hold steady. I need a camera with no double expo uh, exposures. Now we ask the customer to rank from one to five. Uh, what would be the more the importance of these? You say, okay, well, uh, I, the most important thing for me to be reliable. So I'm going to give it five to that. So a scale one to five, five being the highest, and then. Uh, what we do, we, uh, we, we ask them what they want and they will rank it. Can, uh, can one or two take the same number? Yes, they can do that. Then once you have this uh, customer needs, what you would see, you would say that I want to, um, I want to, uh, how I could meet the customer need. Okay, now sometimes you have a customer say, I need a big car. Okay, now how I could meet the customer needs, you need something to be specific and measurable. So you would say, okay, by using the dimensions as a factor, we could meet the customer needs of having a large car. Same thing, a uh, customer would say, I need a fast car. You could say, all right, so how I'm gonna do this? So these basically will help you to meet the customer needs from the technical, from engineering perspective. So if, I, if you have a lightweight, what you need to do, maybe you could use aluminum components for that. Uh, if you need to be uh, reliable, maybe you could do uh, a low electricity requirements here. Uh, or maybe this is not, not that has a low relationship. Uh, 
uh, uh, lightweight uh, could be by having aluminum as, as well, aluminum component. Uh, if I need a reliable uh, camera, you could uh, improve that or you could achieve that by having a low electricity requirement. And no double ex uh, exposures here. This could be achieved by auto ad uh, advantage. So this number one and number three, related to each other so we have to study the relationship between each uh, uh, one another and we could identify it by one to be having a low relation medium relation three high relation to be five number four now once we study the relation number uh in, in uh, number five I, I skipped number four the relationship between the technical specification how they are related to each other whether a high relationship medium or low some other literature they will say okay i need to identify the relation by positive or negative so i need to see a positive plus or minus so there are a lot of templates there are a lot of opinions but as long as you uh, you and your team can do it can understand you are in your team on the same page then that's great now the last component here which is the most important number six it's the uh, importance which which uh, technical specification we should focus on by looking into this uh, the measure you will see okay well the 32 looks high okay now we should focus on autofilm advance uh, in order to have uh, the, uh, the, the the customer needs in order to meet the customer needs after that we could focus on number 27 we have two uh, 27 auto focus and auto exposure and and then you could achieve the customer needs. Now, somebody will ask, how did you calculate that? This can be calculated by multiplying three times one plus four times one plus five times uh, three, and that would give you 22. And the same thing, uh, you do it column by column in order to find out what would be the calculation. And by this, you could achieve the customer needs. One last thing that we uh, need to talk about it, with, which is the uh, benchmarking room. The benchmarking, it's a way to study yourself and compare yourself with a competitor. So you select two companies, one uh, A and B, and you compare your service to these companies. So you say, okay, company A, they're doing good with a lightweight. Company uh, B, they're doing P, poor, uh, which basically, just to give you an idea, where are you located in the market, comparing yourself to the to the to the other competitors etc uh, so here, here is uh, some steps in order to develop the qfd I've written it's similar to what i said there's some changes some differences between uh different opinions different authors some the some they think you should have the nine three and one relationship uh, some would say one three and five uh, as, again as long as you are on the same page with your team you could use either one uh, again, the plus and minus with the uh, technical uh, specification, you could mention that as well. Uh, there's, here's a template, a simple template, what you could, you could use it to develop your QFD. What I would also recommend, use the uh, ASQ templates, just type ASQ uh, QFD template, and you will find it. It's easy, Excel sheet, you could fill it up and find, an, and you could perform uh, a, a good quality uh, function deployment. Uh, for any example. Uh, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, uh, it, there are a lot of details into this example, but I'm just trying to provide a, a short videos to give you an idea on how we could develop a QFD and uh, you could continue uh, with other materials as well. Uh, thank you so much. I will see you in another video.